It came. The APLB glutathione niacinamide sunscreen I said I was going to try out, and I have been trying it out. I really like the texture. It's very much like the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. Chemical sunscreen. It's SPF 50. It also has compounds from Centella in it, which are anti-inflammatory. So I'm not mad at this. It's really nice. It's not greasy. It's a good moisturizer. I've also really been enjoying as you can see, because I've made my way through quite a bit of it, the glutathione niacinamide body lotion. It's very, very lightweight. I've also really been enjoying the Gold Bond Tight and Firm. This has UV quinone in it, and another antioxidant, and it also has urea, which is great for hydrating and softening dry, dull, rough skin texture. And of course, I've been greasing up my feet like a Thanksgiving turkey every night with a little petroleum jelly and by a little I mean a lot because I don't shy away from a big glob. I decided to decorate the mantle for Thanksgiving. Why not? It is a holiday and I enjoy it and I feel like I usually just jump right into the Christmas decorations but I was like I'm gonna take a pause this year and decorate the mantle for Thanksgiving. Why not? I went ahead and got the same style that I got for Halloween. These cute little vintage images that you can string together a la bunting. I also got a pack of Christmas ones that I'll put up for the Christmas holiday, but I put my little pumpkins that I got at the pumpkin patch up and I got this cute little turkey with the sunflower holding the pumpkins. He's like pretty lightweight. And I also got this more stately looking turkey. He's even got a little sparkle to him. These owls have been up here for a while. I got these on um, eBay. They're helpful for holding down the, the little banner. I have this bigger one here and then these other two little ones. That one's got some patina going on. Anyway, I'm gonna head out and check out this estate sale. I have no idea what I'm gonna find there because it's the last day of it, so it's probably gonna be kind of picked over, but why not? And then I might actually go check out that Ollie's Bargain Basement, because I've heard good things about that, and it's somewhat close to where this estate sale is. Twenty bucks. These <laughs> always tempted to get those. This is a relic of pre-internet staples. This is on sale for $50. radio 
the cabinet is neat. It's cute. Looks like they have a lot of kids books and they have these advent calendars that I thought were a good deal. $7.99. They look neat. Coloring activity book. Um, what the heck? No, just no. <laughs> the sheep who wouldn't sleep. Look what I spotted here, an American Girl pop-up advent calendar. I love American Girl dolls. Still do, but they're not quite the same as they were back in the day. Alright, here we are in the adult book section. Looks like a good read. Oh, Nicholas Sparks. I always enjoy a good Nicholas Sparks book. It's a guilty pleasure. I haven't read one in a long time though. Gift cards, holiday cards, even for Thanksgiving. Look, Crochet Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. <gasps> How adorable. I like this embroidery journal kit. That's fun. All right, it looks like they have a good lineup here of some Christmas stuff. Those are cute. Snowman baskets. gift wrap. I like this one with the ornaments. $2.79 is not too bad. There's some reeds. Tablecloths. Ooh, I love these. How much? Ten dollars. Oh, these are cute. Fingertip towels. Gift 
bags. Counter covers. It's handy, 99 cents. It's really handy. Lots of gift wrap here. Lots of snack things too. I don't feel like that's a great deal. A dollar ninety nine for that applesauce, maybe. Like a bunny, I just hopped out of the shower. As a side note: this noise that you hear, it's me standing on my bamboo back mat. It's not my floor creaking. First off, to my just cleansed, now damp body skin, I'm coming in with my antioxidant serum, okay? This is a glutathione niacinamide body lotion that I reviewed for you guys in the monthly reviews, the, you know, stuff we need to talk about. It's a lightweight body moisturizer. You can use it on the face as well, I, although I didn't put it on my face. I just came into my face with the snail mucin that I'm going to come on over with my tretinoin. But this is super lightweight, glides on to damp skin, sinks in right away. Once that is all over, I'm gonna come on over with a seal of this Rode Barrier Butter. The review on this should be up. This is a balm, it's balmy. And so the spread of this on the skin is not easy. It's got some resistance to spread because it really wants to lie down on the skin ASAP and form a protective film. So if there's moisture on the skin surface, I find that that does not go on so easily. It's, it's not as though it can't be done, but it doesn't glide on easily. Similar to if you were to take a diaper rash cream and try and put it on the skin while it's white, you're going to get more resistance because these balms are intended to really help provide as much as possible a watertight seal so they don't really mix well with damp skin. The skin is not completely dry to the touch, although it's not dripping water. This is actually the best time to put on a body moisturizer, except, like I said, a balm will give you a little bit of, of trouble there. Now, this has niacinamide and glutathione. Those are antioxidants that may help in the battle against hyperpigmentation, oxidative stress that contributes to skin aging, weathering from environmental aggressors, and niacinamide is also great for the moisture barrier as well. Now, before I come on with my tretinoin, I'm gonna do a little dot, just a tiny little dot to each eye of the Cicaplast Balm. This is gonna protect my eyelids from tretinoin, which for me would be too irritating. Not to say that tretinoin is always a no-go for eyelid skin. Some people are able to use it, but uh, it can be super irritating. I don't, I don't use it around my eyes. All right, now we're coming in with tretinoin on top of absorbed snail mucin. All right, my thin film of tretinoin's on, the residue from the back of my hand, we're gonna rub together so that we treat the back of the hands. Um, all right, now for my feet. I'm coming in with the petroleum jelly sock I shared with you guys last weekend. Yes, that much um, for a foot and ankle and lower leg. I'm gonna come on to my foot, really encase it in a sock of petroleum jelly. Take it up to the ankle where I tend to get a lot of friction. Lower leg, cover with a little sock. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other foot. Petroleum jelly sock is on. This is an expensive product, you know. This is a type of product that I could have used on my feet for a similar outcome, but kind of expensive to be doing that to your feet. I'm gonna do my upper arms. 
So this has polyglutamic acid and hyaluronic acid. But look at that. It's like it's almost like you're putting mineral sunscreen on. That's the texture. Is this necessary? No, but I think that this particular stack is really good for rejuvenating the appearance of dry, rough skin. I have to say, Haley Bieber, they, they did a good job with this balm. I'm gonna come on my neck here. All right, now these light cotton pajamas I have, this is the soak and smear, okay? You, you soak in the tub, shower, all right, which is just basic bathing, okay? When you get out to damp, not soaking wet, damp skin, you smear on the moisturizer. That's what we just did. And then you put on some light pajamas um, and it really locks everything in. Now I don't have sleeves on with these, but I'm gonna put a little robe on so I don't stick to everything. You already know, it's the Abib Rice Probiotics Overnight Mask. Um, this is a 2024 Yes Please probably going to become a staple because I've just really been loving this final step in my nighttime skincare routine of coming in with just a tiny scoop. You don't need a lot of this jelly and especially to my cheeks. Now this jelly mask, as I pointed out, but if you're new, it dries a little sticky. Okay. It's going to be a sticky and tacky, but it's totally worth it because tomorrow when I wake up, my skin is like, did we even experience overnight? Because at night, your skin loses more water. You have increased blood flow. Itch tends to get worse. That's one of the reasons why when you wake up in the morning, you roll out of bed, you look like you just roll out of bed, and your skin is not as like vivacious as it is at baseline. That's why. It's, it's kind of like, I need to get back on track. Um, but doing this, this overnight jelly mask, uh, as a final, it's, it's a moisture, it's a you know, really good hydrating, occlusive moisturizer. Doing this as the final step, it's like that whole trans epidermal water loss thing is like, who, who is she? It's great. Um, I've been loving that. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. Thank you so much for making it to the end. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.